Stakes Plinko has been sweeping the internet with its childlike wonders and possibility for the infinite money glitch, but is there more to this game, and how does it even work? If you haven't left already, I'll be locking you in and walking you through how I made this game with Python and what strategies can be implemented to put the betting in the house's favor. For this to work, we have to go back to the fundamentals of Plinko board. Now this is a typical Plinko board with an offset grid pattern where the balls can drop anywhere, land anywhere, be anywhere. Now this is a Plinko board that you would find on stake. It is pyramid shaped and has a narrow entry. Now you might have noticed that my balls seem flat, deflated, and have no bounce. This is by design, not a condition. This is the ball's true nature. Down, straight, and no goals in life. <sighs> Too real. Ideally, for the best house odds, this is where the balls need to land. Plotting these can give us a visual representation of where the balls are going. As you can see, this game sucks. So, let's make these balls bounce. Bounce equals randomness, randomness equals odds, and odds equals... Now, if we take a look at a real-world bounce, it doesn't bounce forever. It is dampened by gravity, just like our happiness, hence the gambling addiction. <sighs> Too real. Now, more dampening is less bounce. Less bounce, if you remember, if you remember, means less randomness, better house odds, and more money, baby. Now that that nerd's done, Look at all these pretty colors. Remember, no one wants to play your game if it's not shiny, preppy, and posh. Ooh. Ah. Now that I got your attention again, we can talk about why the ball doesn't go in the hole. Oh, why didn't you just go home? That's your home! Are you too good for your home? Answer me! Along with dampening in the y direction, we can also dampen in the x direction. When your ball comes down and hits this pin, it goes out and about. Now, this can be a big no-no when this vector is aimed at the pentagon, I mean outside of the pyramid. So instead of a perfect bounce where it shoots out of the pyramid, we can dampen the x direction so that the ball goes more up instead of out. So in addition to x dampening, we have what's called x biasing. This is the equivalent to slipping a $20 bill to the referee. He'll say, hey, I see you landed on the outside of the line there, but because you slipped it in a 20, you're actually gonna go towards the inside. So that way, even though we're on the outside of the pin going to shoot outside the pyramid, we're actually going to shoot towards the middle. So in practice, if we bring that center bias all the way down and drop a bunch of balls, we can see that those balls have a little more freedom to travel to either end of the pyramid. Um, now you can see that the distribution themselves will still be fairly normal. You're just having more likelihood of hitting those edge cases. Now, if we bring that center bias all the way up and exaggerate it and drop a bunch of balls, you're gonna see that they're a lot more likely to end up in the middle. Some of them even doing uh, a little bit of a weird thing where they hop back over the pin. That's something that you don't want to happen. I'm just doing it for exaggerated purposes to show you how it can be done. And you can see that with that exaggeration, those balls are ending up more in the middle. Enough with the nerd talk already. Remember, nobody wants to play your game if it doesn't entertain an iPad baby. It's the bigger picture of gambling. The illusion of big wins and keeping the player coming back. Strategy. The strategy needs to be the perfect blend of giving the player wins when they're down and losses when they're up. Remember, effective gambling is slow loss over time. The house can afford a big win from the gambler when they know the player's gonna keep playing. To do this, the game can show a ball here and there with less bias. These are the balls that give the player suspense. So with all these house strategies that can be implemented, come people that want to combat the odds. They want to play these strategies and try and win. Um, I'm not going to talk about those in this video. Um, instead, I'm going to play around with the bias myself and make it look like uh, I'm a millionaire. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep playing um, and you can go away now. Uh, I'm just going to keep clicking this, I think forever actually. 
Um, I mean, I guess you can play too. Uh, the GitHub's linked in the description below. Download, play, learn yourself. Okay, now bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.